if you like Qatar, and if you like interviews, well then June 25th is your lucky day. Because on June 25th, 2021, at 2.30 p.m., at least in Qatar time, 5 p.m. India time, but anyway, at 2.30 p.m. Qatar time, I will be sitting down with my friend Nisa Sivra. And she'll be asking me a few questions. Of course, I won't actually be sitting down in person because, well, Corona, Corona. So instead, we'll be a little online. But anyway, she will ask me a few questions and I'll be talking about scientists, ranging from Newton to Ampere to Volta to Faraday to Coulomb to Maxwell and finally to Einstein. Mamma mia, Volta would say, that's a lot of scientists, half of which I haven't even heard of because I died before them. <laughs> that will be the subjects I'm talking about. And along the way, I hope to make some connection between Newton's law of gravity to Einstein's field equation, which, of course, Einstein wrote. And, well, if you want the equations, if you want to make some connections on your own, before the lecture, which I doubt you can do in three damn days, because it took Einstein 10 years. But anyway, Newton's universal law of gravity suggests that the force of gravity, or FG for short, is equal to uh, G, which is 6.7 times 10 to the minus 11, times M1, mass of the first object in the attraction, M2, mass of the second object in the attraction, divided by the distance between these two objects. So, uh, yeah, that's a pretty hefty equation for newcomers to physics. But it's all been lost in our brains after like two years of physics or so. So anyways, the uh, Einstein field equation is a bit complicated. Almost nobody on the planet understands it. Let me just tell it to you real quick. R and U, well, minus half, you should know that by now, times R Z mini minus, well, actually plus, the cosmological constant, which is basically how mass, energy, pressure, blah, 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 is spread throughout the light years of the universe. I'm not about to say how big it is because, you know, it's constantly expanding faster than the speed of light. So, no, I'm not judging what size it is. It's how, like, mass, energy, pressure is all spread out through the crap of the universe. And then you have, well, that times D menu again. It's equal to, well, 8, you should know that, pi, you should also know that, times, well, g, you should know that as well, uh, 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11, divided by c, which is the speed of light, to the fourth power, finally, times t mini. So, that is the field equation and the gravitational equation. So now, I'm going to tell the high school dropout version of the field equation, for those of you who don't know. <laughs> Madam tells space. The high school dropout analogy is, well, matter tells space time how to curve, which if you're a high school dropout, you probably shouldn't know, but anyways. And space time tells matter how to move. I will also be talking about my book, Tiny Mini Book Talk. Well, name my niece, which is about saving a job from the amount. Thank you, everybody, and I hope to see you there. Remember, search up what is 2.30 p.m. in Qatar in the U.S. And, well, 5 p.m. in India. For those of you who are Indian and watching this, and we'll see you next time. Let's go to the interview, Sir Isaac Newton.